While string theory is not a new theory, it is a theoretical framework which, where it unites and describes all known particles and forces, especially the standard model of particles, and describes the fundamental level of the universe in terms of vibrating string in one-dimensional space rather than particles, where also instead of a small point, a particle is seen instead as a tiny vibrating string. Well, we have now five main uh, string theories, and each string has their own properties, and some of them allow vibrations to travel in one direction, while others allow both. If you are curious to know some simple details on these uh, five strings, you can pause the video. And these string theories require extra dimensions of space-time for their mathematical consistency and for topology. Where in the superstring theory, space-time is 10-dimensional, while in M-theory it is 11-dimensional. And the bosonic theory, space-time is 26-dimensional. But why do we need these extra dimensions? Since gravity is thought to be a force capable of exploring these extra dimensions, the other one uh, we can find in string theory and through the appearance of gravitons that carries the uh, gravity force in these extra dimensions. Not only we need them since according to Newton's theorem, the law of conservation needs the, from the universe to be symmetrical. And one extra dimension is needed for the symmetry of matter and for symmetry of energy. Actually, it reminds me by a theory called, called supersymmetry. In simple, it says that there is a partner particle for each particle in the standard model, and it have existed during the Big Bang. For example, in the standard model, uh, it is W boson. While in the supersymmetry particles, it is Wino. Now, why, why string theory? Well, string theory and M theory have been proposed as a theory of everything. And it is a theory for quantum gravity, which was able to describe the three forces in nature, which are strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, and electromagnetic force, while gravity still mysterious. So string theory came and one of the vibrational states that the string gives rise to the graviton. Graviton is still hypothetical. Graviton is a boson that uh, carries the uh, gravity force. And graviton boson must be massless. And the force of gravity is the weakest between the other forces since till now scientists uh, didn't detect the graviton boson. And if graviton boson really exists, then we need a CERN in the size of the solar system and three detectors in the size of Jupiter. And it is surely impossible. Uh, you can pause the video to read some characteristic, some simple characteristic for string theory. But do you know why I love string theory? Well, the idea of higher and extra dimensions is really amazing. And the beauty in string theory is in the mathematical and the topological objects. Uh, well, I don't know much about topology, but uh, it is the study of geometrical objects that can be stretched, the twist, uh, have some crumpling, some bending. Um, it maybe doesn't include opening holes or closing holes or 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 and I wish in the next video to explain more M theory or uh, more and I'll explain the higher dimensions and uh, thanks for watching